Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Holly the Twister Sister and I'm here to teach you the art and craft of balloon twisting. Today we're doing kind of a different animal but one that you should definitely know because I have been asked for this several times in my career. So we're going to be doing a zebra. recommend that you pop that subscribe button before you do anything else because you're not gonna want to miss the videos I am putting out every single week on Tutorial Tuesday free balloon animal tutorials get you up and running with the art of balloon twisting and on Fridays I tell you how to make money with your balloon creation so let's get into this zebra to do this design we're gonna need two white 260s one black 260 and two black five inch rounds I have experimented with this design and trying to make it so many different ways to do less balloons but this is the way that just looks the best and so that's what I want to teach you guys today you're going to start off with one of your five inch rounds and we're just going to inflate that a little bit. Super under inflate this thing so it is smaller than the size of your palm and go ahead and tie that off nice and tight. Now you're going to need a white 260 and I've inflated this guy till there's just about a two inch tail left and we're going to tie this right onto our black ball that we just made. So just take those two nozzles and tie them together in a double knot. I like to go ahead and cut off the excess tails at this point because it's just a lot of extra latex that'll get gunked up and clog everything up. Now we're going to take our black ball and we're going to split it in half. So just take it and start twisting off two of the same size balls. And then you're going to take your white and kind of wrap it around the middle of those a couple of times so that they don't come untwisted. Now this is going to be the mouth of our zebra. It's going to have this nice black little nose and snout thing. All right, now we're going to work up the top of the head of our zebra. So come up about two to three inches, make a twist. We're going to do two small loops for the ears. One and two. Now we're going down. We're going to just make a small one inch bubble and then back into the mouth. So we're going to complete our little triangle here. So we're going to bring our balloon forward, twist it into the mouth, and then we're going to take the rest of our white balloon back to this small little bubble here that we just made. So first eyeball these. Make sure these two bubbles on the bottom of the jaw are the same size. And then to lock them together, all we're going to do is flip places with them. So just switch them out. And those should be locked in. You can line everything up so you can sort of see how it's all coming together. Now working our way down the neck of the zebra, we're going to come down just about a two inch bubble here. And we're going to do two front legs. These are just going to be your standard balloon animal legs two bubbles, lock them back up into the neck. Now you have the beginnings of a white horse or a giraffe, a zebra. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, now we're going to take our second white 260 that we have ready to go. This one, I've only inflated it about halfway. And we're going to start off this one with just a small pinch twist here at the beginning. So just a small round bubble and then make that into a pinch twist. We're going to take this pinch twist and lock it into the base of the neck of our zebra. Alright, so that kind of will straighten up his head so he's not leaning forward so much. We're going to take both of our white tails here, bring them together, and twist them together however long you want the body to be. So I'd say about like that is pretty good. And we're going to do two more legs on the back side here. So one bubble and another bubble, just your standard balloon dog legs, like that. Now the rest of this we're finished with, so you can go ahead and get rid of it. And now we're going to attach the hair, which of course is black. So grab yourself a black 260, I've inflated mine about halfway with a nice 4 to 5 inch tail there. And I'm going to take the nozzle of this black balloon and we're going to twist it into the ears to get it started in here. Alright, so wrapped all up around there. We're going to start off with a small loop for some bangs. 
So just a small little loop here in the front, in front of the ears. Take the rest of the balloon back behind the ears. Make sure that hair loop is lying flat on top of the head, just like that. And now we're ready to go down the back of the neck with this hair. So to cover this first section here, the back of the head of this bubble, we're gonna do two black bubbles. So one and two. And then I like to go ahead and twist them into there at this point. See how that starts to straighten out his head now. Um, I like to put a little pinch twist here. You can skip the pinch twist. It, it's a little bit, doesn't want to stay as well without the pinch twist. So I like to put the pinch twist there just to stabilize everything, especially if you're gonna be giving this to a kid. But if pinch twists kind of are difficult for you still, you can probably skip this one. Okay, so I've got a nice pinch twist in there. And we're gonna continue down the rest of the neck right here until we get into the base of the neck. So usually about two more bubbles and then twist those into the base of the neck. There you, go. you guys see it? Isn't it looking so cute? Now, when you are done with the hair, you can get rid of the rest of this. Um, I like to make sure that this is wrapped around really well before I do this part. Just wrap it around a few more times. Okay. Now what you can do is you can rip this off and let go of this guy. All right, and then you can save the rest of this for a little zebra tail if you want to. So I'm just gonna get the air down to the end of the balloon so we don't have any nozzles on our tail. And then we've just got this which we can attach to the back. Or you can leave them as is with this little white tail and I think it looks totally fine. Once you add the stripes and everything, I don't think anybody is gonna notice that he has a white tail, but you can add the black tail instead if you want. So just switch them out. So I've just deflated that little white bit and now I'm gonna tie on my black. Let me actually make this tail shorter because that's too much. Okay, and we're gonna tie these together. And then you've got a nice little tail here, but we've kind of messed up like how tight and nice everything was there. So what I'm gonna do is put just a small little pinch twist here at the beginning of our black tail. So we're just gonna twist off a small little round bubble there and make that a pinch twist. And now that will help stabilize this whole back end. And it also makes the tail stick out instead of up. So that's kind of cute for a zebra. Another thing I like to do when I'm doing horses or dogs and zebras is I actually like to bring the feet together, especially if this is going to be going on a headband or a bracelet or a stick. I usually like to really put, bring the feet together. So that's another option you can do. Keep in mind, I think it looks good with the feet together. Um, but it, you know, this is more playable. You can play with it more if you want to do that. So more options for you to consider. Let's finish this guy off. He needs some eyes. Right now he's got just empty space in his head. <laughs> so we're gonna use our last black five inch round and just inflate this a little tiny bit. We're really gonna under inflate this. Okay, so just like a, like a golf ball size maybe. Tie that off. We're gonna cut off our excess tail here. And now we're gonna take this black ball and twist it in half so that the nozzle is in between our two bubbles. There we go. And we're gonna just slide this in through the middle of the head where the eyes go. In the middle of our little triangle. And just make sure that they look nice, they fit nice, and that is your zebra. Ta-da! Isn't it so cute? Of course, we've gotta do a little bit of Sharpie art on this guy, but that is the twisting. If you got this far, congratulations. This is probably more of an intermediate to advanced design. So good job, you guys. Um, another option, if you don't have black five inch rounds, you can still do this design. You can use 260s for the black parts here at the mouth and the eyes. So I would do two small, small little loops for the mouth and then um, do just small little like pinch twist for the eyes if you want to go that route. I just always like using five inch rounds when I can because I feel like they're easier to blow up for some reason. It's like a little bit of a time saver, so I use them when I can. All right, for the eyes, we don't need to do a whole lot of artwork and you probably skip this part, but I think it looks really cute to add some white spots on these black eyes. So I'm just gonna do a big white circle with a smaller little circle below it and coming towards the front. 
You can see that. Same thing for the other side. All right, so he's got his cute little white eye spots for the highlight marks. And then of course, we're gonna have to draw some stripes on this funny horse. <laughs> okay, so the way I draw stripes on zebras, I try to go really fast, so I don't really even lift my marker up off the balloon and I'm just doing like really long Bs and they're kind of going like pointing down as much as possible. And if you make loops, I just usually fill those in. <laughs> okay, so those are kind of how I do zebra stripes. You can of course get you know, much more technical with it, but this gives you the overall look. And in the middle, I just kind of go straight down and something like that. Okay, so just zigzags. You can do them coming down the neck as well. Those weren't very good, but you get what I'm doing. <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, and then I usually don't put them on the face. Uh, just on the body on both sides and then that is your zebra artwork. So I really hope you guys like this design Once you get to this point you're done and you can hand it off This is not something I would really do for line work, but definitely for a birthday party or restaurant I think this would be appropriate and People really like this guy now if you like this guy make sure to let me know by popping the like button below this video it Really helps me out and it's a small easy free way that you can support this channel and it'll help ensure that I am able to continue bringing you guys these fun balloon videos. If you liked what you saw today and you want to see more, you're going to want to subscribe. So if you haven't already, make sure to do that and ring the bell so you get notified when I put out a new video because you want to be first. I don't know why, but you do. <laughs> And I'd love to see pictures of your zebra. You can share those in our free Facebook group. The link is down in the description below. Everybody posts their work each week and it's really fun to see everybody's take on the design of the week and what colors they choose. <gasps> I just thought of a rainbow zebra. You could do the stripes in rainbow colors. Why have I never done that? Oh my goodness, somebody do it and post your picture in the Facebook group this week. I am gonna look forward to seeing a rainbow zebra. Somebody's gonna do it. We'll see who does. <laughs> I also have a YouTube video from a few years back on how to do a zebra hat. And that one is a little bit quicker actually. And it uses the uh, zebra print balloons. So you don't even have to draw these stripes on. So go check that video out. And I will see you guys over there or next week for another free balloon animal tutorial on Tutorial Tuesday. Happy twisting, everyone. Bye-bye.